Hello, so I've been working on this project for a little while. Um, I've been trying to 3D print a high capacity magazine for my Savage Axis series rifles. So this is the first one I did and the problem with this is I did two separate pieces so and I did it thin so and it ended up when the bullets would just push right through, just push it apart and I had this little lever which that didn't work all that great and it screwed together sideways and there's the little follower so this was the first attempt and yeah it this kind of killed it all so i ended up doing this design which is uh the second iteration and it worked better um i could get nine rounds in there but uh the biggest problem i was having is this little lever thing it um I couldn't get enough movement out of it to latch in. I, I tried latching it and all that. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... I've got a new design that I uh, worked up and I'm going to 3D print it and then I'm going to put it together. So after 3D printing the magazine, there's definitely a lot of extra cleanup that you need to do. So there's going to be things that, you know, the material ends up like the, the holes. They didn't uh, quite print the holes right. So you got to go file all that stuff down. And then like the bottom, uh, trying to get that shape off. I probably should have just printed it flat, but, um, yeah, so there's definitely a little bit of time consuming prep where you have to sand off everything, make it kind of smooth and yeah, it doesn't look that great, but, um, it's all part of the process of designing prototypes. So yeah, so I'm going to kind of clean everything up. I've got all the parts printed and stuff. Some of it's already uh, cleaned up enough that I can put it together so it slides together like that and snaps into place. And like I've got the little button set up so that way that just slides in and out, which is kind of nice. But um, everything's gotta be kind of smoothed out in order for it to work properly. So I'm still working on this bottom part here which needs to slide in and on and as you can see it doesn't even slide in not like this one where it just slides in so I'm gonna work on that a little bit and we'll come back to what I've done so for the spring um, what I ended up doing is since I couldn't find a spring that fit real well um, I decided to make it so these are the little um, rods of spring steel that I got uh, it's like 16th inch diameter spring steel I made a couple springs already these I, I made with my uh, Leatherman so we're, this time we're gonna make it with a real set of pliers and it's not that hard to make basically what you do is you you clamp on the thing like that you bend and then you know I've got, this is the follower to it. So I use that as a kind of a guide. And yeah, you just bend and 
bend. And then let's see here. And I'm using this to kind of get a rough size. So you bend it like that. And then the next one, you got to do it at a little bit of an angle. So. It gives you kind of an angle. When you get stuff like this, you can easily adjust like that. So, um, yeah. So, basically, I'm going to make the spring do a little bit of adjustment as I go along. But you just keep grabbing it and bending it and trying to get the right angle that you want. And if you don't get the right angle, it's not that big a deal. Like I said, you can adjust it pretty easily. But. Come on. Of course, this is not easy to do underneath the uh, camera. So let me finish it up and I'll show you when it's done. So, of course, it doesn't look that great when you first do it, but it's easy to adjust this stuff um, when you get it uh, bent to roughly what you want. You can usually um, you can adjust angles there by just grabbing it and then just tweaking it. So. I mean, don't get discouraged. It's not the easiest thing to uh, make, especially from scratch. So, like I said, you just grab it in the right spot like that and just tweak it a little bit. And eventually you'll have the, the look that you want and the feel that you want. Um, it is... It is a little bit of uh, work, but you can figure it out, I'm sure. Like I said, it just takes a little bit of practice, a little bit of time. And I'm going to tweak it. I'm going to tweak it some more and get it to look nice. So that's kind of how it turned out. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's going to work fine for what I need. Because once you put it in the... Uh, mag it, it keeps it in place but uh if i'm gonna make a bunch of them I'll, I'll buy 3d printed jig that i can bend this around but since i'm still experimenting with it um i just bent it with a pair of pliers or like a leatherman is what i did the original and it'll go in to there and then as it compresses it, it all will go into that little area that I got for it but so that's how I made the spring so some of the places that uh, I tried to 3d print the little holes it didn't come out so I just take a drill and very carefully drill them out just like that that one didn't actually go where I wanted it to go. Uh, it's a prototype. I think next time I'll just put a little indent there. So that way I don't have to try and drill those things out. Or I won't have to try and get the 3D printed stuff out. But... Yeah. You get used to it. And it's just a hole for a screw. So that's all I did. So I can screw it together. So let me find a screw that fits now. So after you get them drilled out to the right size, um, you need a screw. I happen to have, these are like old screws from computers. So um, I had a bunch of those. So that's what I'm gonna use. They're like sheet metal screws. So they work pretty good. Uh, you find find the ones you want, drill out the hole to the, the right size that's appropriate, and then you can just 
screw them in and hopefully it works if not you know you just got to find the right screws so and now i got to find the right screw for the button okay so i found the screw that will work for the uh little button so i need to put the button in now i didn't know what size spring or anything i'd want so i got like this over at home depot it's just a spring kit but um that's the size spring and it basically fits in there goes like that and then i just gotta screw it together and this should the way i figured it out is when it's extended all the way it should be fine and then when it's all the way in the um so when you're screwing it in you don't need to screw it in too much so it's made to um give it some distance so so you just got to make sure that this is going to be in farther enough when you push the button in so like i've got the uh screw so it goes just over the top of the button when it's extended and that was the idea behind it so and that should clear because this is where the pocket is so you just push the button in and that'll lock the uh magazine in place so um yeah that's basically how it's uh it goes together and everything and what I got to do, the last part to this is to put the spring in. So I pulled this out of the uh, second gen and it seems to fit in there. Um, then I'll put that in. Now, when I did it, this goes towards the back because of the back of the bullet is a little heavier. So or it's easier to push up on the back of the bullet. So, and it basically goes in like that. And so let me go get some rounds and see if they uh, fit. Okay, so here are some 6.5 Creedmoor and let's see how many we can fit in there. Uh, it's still a little rough. So it's a little, um, you can feel it's a little gritty right. six seven I can't I know it should be able to fit more than that I mean it's seven right now yeah it's, it's definitely feeling a little gritty Uh, I should be able to fit 10 in here. That's 9. There we go. So, I got 10 rounds in there. Uh, that spring definitely, you could feel the, the resistance on the spring. So... Um, but, so I know they fit. Now, of course, getting them out might be a little bit more of a hassle. <laughs> but, um, what I'll end up doing is I'll take it out. I gotta still try to see if it fits in the gun and locks in. And I'll take it out to the range and see if it actually works. So, after, um putting it all together and stuff and trying to load it I was running into a problem and the follower I had to cut off a significant amount because what was happening is as the follower was getting pushed down it would do this it would twist and then it would bind up so I had to cut it so when it twisted and that's because of the shape of the bullets so because as the bolts would come down, this is why you see most banana clips 
where they're curved. I'm kind of doing it straight. I may have to do another one that's curved. But it would do this number as it got down lower. So um, I had to cut this away enough so that way it could move freely like that. But um, so I'll take it out to the range and see how it shoots with this thing now that I can load the full 10 in. Hello. So today we're going to test my 3D printed mag. Um, I think I got everything worked out stuff so we're going to put it in the Savage Axis here. This is in 6.5 Creamore and we'll see how it shoots. A little bit of a feed problem. Okay, so it goes into the gun, comes out of the gun okay. It looks like um, when it's full, it's got a little bit of issue. Could be that the spring's not uh, enough, so I may make a, another spring and try it. But um, yeah, it's just not pushing the rounds up, so it could be that it's not um, smooth enough on the inside or the spring is just a little too light. Um, but other than that, when you get down to like five rounds, it seems to work fine. But I'm going to experiment with this a little bit more. But uh, so far, so good. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you have a good day.